What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host with the most, White Boy 7th Street, and I've been seeing some hype for some Battlefield gameplay, and I want to talk about something that is unprecedented going on in the online gaming community right now, and that's going to be the biggest gaming migration when it comes to next generation consoles. I think a lot of players are going to consider themselves Battlefield players now instead of Call of Duty players. I might be one of them because every year I play Battlefield for two, three months and my KD's fantastic. Then I like to ruin it trying to pull off some epic stunts with C4s. I really hope you can put like dynamite onto those horses. That would be so insane and PETA probably wouldn't like it. Anyways, there's going to be a lot of Call of Duty players playing Battlefield this year and I think it got a lot of Battlefield players scared and I'm kind of scared too. Like the COD community, I mean there's bad apples in both communities to be fair and you know COD community is known for being a little bit more toxic so I would be scared of that but also I would be scared that we're just going to change the meta and we're so good on on sticks on the consoles that we're going to totally change how Battlefield is played on Xbox and PlayStation. Now I'm not talking about PC because like 1% of Call of Duty players play on PC. It's not a platform that we really are big on and Battlefield's way bigger on PC and I'm not trying to argue that and I, I couldn't compare Call of Duty players to Battlefield players on PC. It's just not fair. But if you want to compare Battlefield players to people on PC, I would compare it to Counter-Strike and we know Counter-Strike, they probably have the best players in the world. We're talking multiple pulled millions of dollars when it comes to tournaments and I don't think there's an argument there but when it comes on sticks and consoles I think Call of Duty players are a little bit more talented and that's just because the nature of the game and I would say Battlefield's a way different game than Call of Duty it's a war simulator right there's vehicles and I just hit somebody with my little bird and ran them over I thought that was pretty cool but these games are totally different but when it comes to consoles i feel like call of duty is just a, a more fast-paced game this game is a 64 on 64 call of duty is a 9 on 9 arcade simulator so i don't think there's an argument there that call of duty is a little bit more fast-paced and it was very interesting when i was watching the reveal for battlefield the one they had an interview with the developers and they were talking about how they wanted to make battlefield a little bit more responsive a little bit and I got the vibe that they wanted to make it a little bit more like Call of Duty because I don't think we can really argue that Battlefield is a little bit clunky at times uh, there's oh look at this maneuver be very patient I guess I'm I should have probably went for the tank the tanks a little bit uh, scarier uh, but I'm gonna pull out my sniper rifle and uh, take two out right there before I go so I just think it's got to be very interesting what Call of Duty players will do to the meta. Like right here, I'm up close and personal with the shotgun. I'm taking out several enemies. I switch to my <laughs> I switch to my noob tube and I actually take out level cap, which is one of the best uh, Battlefield players that I can tell. And this is before the game came out and I direct impacted him with a noob tube. So I, th I think that says a lot for what Call of Duty players are going to bring to the battlefield community and i can't wait to see what creativity the trick shotters and i mean if you're talking about pure talent look at this right here pure talent when it comes to battlefield 4 i mean i'm just a pure beast and battlefield players should be intimidated of of stuff like that <laughs> as the call of duty community ambassador to battlefield and, I mean, look at these big plays. I'm taking out the entire team right here. They're trying to run the bomb. Are you kidding me? Not on me, baby. Spraying down the hallway. Let's go. <laughs> As the ambassador for Call of Duty community to Battlefield, I would say this. I think we should come together and embrace each other. I think the Call of Duty community has a lot to offer to Battlefield. We might bring some toxic... Uh, cancer people i mean there's people both in both communities that are <laughs> oh my god i love battlefield for moments like this uh you know there's bad apples in both communities 
but I also would say that uh, the Battlefield community is going to bring a lot of pure talent, a lot of knowledge to the game that is unprecedented and we're just not going to know how to zero our guns properly. We're not going to know a lot of little secrets for Battlefield and I mean I know I will because I'm just a pure beast at everything I do. I mean look at this is before the game's coming out. I'm already innovating. I'm going under the water. Look at that. Level cap gets to start again. I'm going under the water with the sea. I somehow dodged the explosion expertly. My hope at the end of the day is that the Call of Duty community and players bring the Battlefield players to the next level and make them perform a little bit better, which in terms makes us play a little bit better, and then has the whole Battlefield meta change and evolve to this awesome thing that it can be and it is, but I mean, there's gotta be... Uh, there's gotta be so much innovation and, and trick shots involved now, and it's, it's just gotta change the game. There's gotta be snipers from the Call of Duty community. I mean, look at me pulling out the sniper rifle. You've seen in this gameplay, I'm already an expert. So we're gonna have a lot of we're gonna have a lot of people on, <laughs> on the. <laughs> oh my god! I I just I'm looking at this gameplay. There's so many like awesome moments that always happen. In Battlefield, and I mean, I love this this LMG. I'm just and this map too. I'm just destroying whole fleets of teammates, man, whole squadrons, baby. And then, of course, you put the C. I, this is my favorite thing to do, honestly. Put the C4 on uh, <laughs> on some motorcycles or on some bikes and and run over people, ramp it, stuff like that. I love the Battlefield engine. I hope they do make it a little less clunky. Uh, that could always be an improvement and let me know in the comments down below who is more talented battlefield players or call of duty players and who would do better a battlefield player on a call of duty game or a you know vice versa i feel like i've i mean proven myself alone in in this gameplay uh, by itself i'm a freaking beast and i I, <laughs> I love being creative and battlefield you can be so much more creative than you can in Call of Duty. <laughs> and there's bigger maps, more players, more possibilities, more weapons and attachments and vehicles. And did I tell you I like this LMG? I think I, I like it. I think it's a pretty good gun. I, you know, I'm going to vouch for that gun. I like it pretty much. I did that. <laughs> so uh, I'm just having some funny. Like, Looking at this montage, this is a great montage. I'm glad I re-uploaded it and I got to rewatch it because I forgot about a lot of these historical moments and and just epic plays. And dude, Battlefield, it's gonna be a great year for Battlefield. It's gonna be a great year for Call of Duty. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Call of Duty and Battlefield gameplay. Bye bye.